Global Military Products Incorporated, a defense contractor based in Tampa, Florida, has been awarded a $118.4 million firm fixed price contract for the purchase and delivery of Jeopard! 35mm air defense systems. The contract announcement was made on May 30 by the Army Contracting Command in Newark, New Jersey. The bidding for this contract was carried out online, and Global Military Products Incorporated emerged as the sole recipient. Under the terms of the contract, the work will be carried out in Amman, Jordan, and the completion date is estimated to be May 30, 2024. This project will significantly bolster the existing capabilities of the Jordanian Armed Forces, which currently operate 60 of these systems. Interestingly, the funding for this acquisition comes from the Fiscal 2010 Foreign Military Sales FMS, under the Ukraine Security Assistance Initiative. The sum of $118.4 million was obligated at the time of the contract award. This signals continued investment in strengthening international defense partnerships and enhancing global security. Jeopard Anti-Aircraft System the Flugabwerkenonen Panzer Jeopard, anti-aircraft gun tank cheetah, better known as the Flakpanzer Jeopard, is an all-weather capable self-propelled anti-aircraft gun, SPAAG, developed in the 1960s by the German company Krauss Maffei Wegmann, KMW, in collaboration with the Swiss company Orlikon Contraves. Fielded in the 1970s, it has been upgraded several times with the latest electronics. It has been a cornerstone of the air defense of the German Army, Bundeswehr, and a number of other NATO countries. The Jeopard is based on the chassis of the Leopard 1 tank including the complete drive unit with a 37.4-liter V10, cylinder multi-fuel engine, type, MB838 Cam 500, with two mechanical superchargers built by MTU Aero engines. The engine develops 610 kilowatts at 2200 rpm, 830 PS and consumes, depending on the surface and driving style, around 150 liters per 100 kilometers. The two guns are 90 calibers, 3.15 meters, 10 feet 4 inches, long, with a muzzle velocity of 1,440 meters per second, 4,700 feet per second, FAPDS, frangible armor piercing discarding sabot, rounds, giving an effective range of 5.5 kilometers, 3.4 miles. The ammunition is 35 by 228 mm caliber, Stanag 4516. The KDA autocannon has a dual belt feed for two different ammunition types. The usual loading per gun is 320 AA rounds fed from inside the turret, and 20 AP rounds fed from a small outlying storage. Each gun has a firing rate of 550 rounds a minute. The combined rate of fire is 1100 rounds a minute, which in unlimited mode, gives a continuous fire time of 35 seconds before running out of ammunition, with 640 AA rounds for both guns. It is standard to fire bursts against air targets, 24 rounds per gun for a total of 48 in limited mode and 48 rounds per gun for a total of 96 in normal mode. The 40 armor-piercing rounds are normally fired singly with the guns alternating, they are intended for self-defense against light-armored ground targets, the cannons have a maximum effective range of approximately 4,000 meters, and can engage targets at altitudes ranging from ground level up to 3,500 meters. One of the key features of the Jeopard system is its advanced fire control system, which incorporates radar and electro-optical sensors for target acquisition, tracking, and engagement. The system is capable of detecting and engaging multiple targets simultaneously, ensuring a high degree of situational awareness and effective response to airborne threats. The Jeopard system's radar provides long-range surveillance and target acquisition capabilities, allowing it to detect and track aircraft, helicopters, unmanned aerial vehicles, UAVs, and missiles. It can also integrate with other air defense systems and command and control networks, enabling effective coordination and integration within a larger air defense network. To enhance its effectiveness, the Jeopard system can be equipped with various types of ammunition, including high-explosive incendiary rounds, armor-piercing discarding sabot rounds, and programmable airburst rounds. This ammunition versatility allows the system to engage a wide range of targets, from low-flying aircraft to small drones and even lightly armored ground targets. In terms of crew, the Jeopard system typically requires a crew of three personnel, including a commander, gunner, and driver. The crew operates from a well-protected armored cabin, which offers good protection against small arms fire and shell fragments. Ukrainian Jeopards against Russian targets. 
In the framework of the Russian invasion of Ukraine, the Ukrainian army deployed the Jeopard as a crucial defense asset. The initial three Jeopard units arrived in Ukraine on 25 July 2022. However, during testing, it was discovered that the Jeopard could not fire a supply of ammunition from Norway. An improved ammunition test was scheduled for August 2022. By 20 September 2022, a total of 30 Jeopards and 6,000 rounds had been delivered. Ukrainian armed forces reported receiving approximately 50,000 Norwegian-made rounds for the Jeopard by 26 September, 2022. Notably, photographs published by the German tabloid Bild showcased a Ukrainian crew with the Jeopard, equipped with high-explosive incendiary HEI, rounds manufactured by Norwegian company Namo. According to a Ukrainian defense attach in the United States, the Jeopard has proven highly effective against the relatively crude Iranian-made Shard 136 loitering munitions. The conflict intelligence team suggests that a Jeopard likely destroyed a Russian KH-101 cruise missile that was targeting a power plant in Kiev on 18 October 2022. It is credited with destroying over 10 Shard 136 drones and two cruise missiles. These systems have demonstrated superior effectiveness and cost efficiency compared to more advanced and expensive air defense, systems like NASM's or IRIS-T missiles. Furthermore, their limited effective range makes them less politically sensitive. The Royal United Services Institute, RUSI, a London-based think tank, explains that gun systems are generally preferred over missiles due to their lower cost per engagement and the higher availability of ammunition compared to surface-to-air missiles, SAMs, and man-portable air defense systems, manpads. On 2 December 2022, Germany recovered seven additional Jeopard tanks from the scrap pile to refurbish and send to Ukraine, raising the total number of units sent to Ukraine to 37. These tanks are expected to arrive in Ukraine in spring 2023. However, obtaining ammunition has proven challenging due to Switzerland's claim of neutrality, which restricts Germany from transferring its stock and refuses to supply surplus ammunition. As a result, Germany has sought alternative sources of ammunition. On 15 December, Rheinmetall committed to establishing a new factory in Germany to bypass the Swiss re-export ban. A production agreement was signed in February 2023. The Jeopards deployed in Ukraine have proven highly effective against Shard 136 drones. With a radar range of 16 km 9.9 miles, the Jeopard can detect these drones from a significant distance. It requires as few as six rounds to shoot down a Shard drone, and a similar number to destroy a cruise missile. One Jeopard successfully downed 10 Shard drones in a single engagement. Ruzi has specifically highlighted the Jeopard's remarkable effectiveness against these drones. Allegedly, Ukraine suffered its first Jeopard loss in April 2023 to a Lancet loitering munition, although the complete video footage shows the Jeopard relatively intact following the impact.